Welcome. Today we're discussing the career pathway for engineering technologists under ANZS Co 233914, which is an exciting and vital profession in Australia's engineering landscape. Let's start with what this role entails. As an engineering technologist, your primary responsibilities include analysing and adapting current engineering technologies, applying concepts during project implementation and testing, and designing or modifying systems to improve efficiency. Collaboration is key, as you'll often work alongside engineers and technical staff to develop innovative solutions. Additionally, you'll need to identify and resolve technical challenges and prepare detailed reports to support your engineering initiatives. For skilled migration, a positive skills assessment from Engineers Australia is essential. There are two main assessment pathways. Pathway A for those with accredited pretty qualifications such as Australian degrees or degrees recognised under the Washington, Sydney or Dublin Accords. For those without accredited qualifications, Pathway B involves submitting a competency demonstration report or CDR. Regardless of your chosen pathway, you must submit a comprehensive CV resume that outlines your educational background and professional experience. Degree certificates and academic transcripts to validate your qualifications. For Pathway B, you will need employer reference letters detailing your job responsibilities. Also, a competency demonstration report which includes detailed career episodes and a summary statement. These documents must be accurate and, if necessary, translated into English with certified copies. Now, let's explore the various visa pathways available for engineering technologists who are planning to migrate to Australia. First up, we have the Subclass 189 Skilled Independent Visa. This visa is highly attractive as it offers permanent residency without the need for employer or state sponsorship. To qualify, candidates must achieve a minimum of 65 points on the immigration points test, have competent English equivalent to an IELTS score of six and be under 45 years of age at the time of invitation. This visa allows you to live, work and study anywhere in Australia with full access to healthcare and education services. Next is the subclass 190 skilled nominated visa which also provides permanent residency but requires nomination by a state or territory government. The criteria are quite similar to the 189 visa, but having a state nomination can significantly boost your points and improve your chances of receiving an invitation. This pathway is ideal for those who have skills that are in high demand in specific states or territories. Moving on, we have the subclass 491 skilled work regional visa. This is a provisional visa valid for five years and is specifically designed to encourage skilled workers to live and work in regional Australia. The 491 visa is points tested and requires a nomination by either a state government or an eligible family member who resides in a designated regional area. A unique benefit of this visa is the pathway it offers to permanent residency through the subclass 191 visa after meeting the eligibility criteria, such as three years of residence and regional work. The subclass 186 employer nomination scheme is a strong choice for those who have already secured employment in Australia. This permanent residency visa requires employer sponsorship and at least three years of relevant full-time work experience. Applicants must also demonstrate competent English with an IELTS score of at least six and be under 45, although some exemptions may apply. Next is the subclass 494 Skilled Employer Sponsored Regional Visa. This provisional visa enables skilled workers to live and work in regional areas for up to five years. One significant advantage is the pathway it provides to permanent residency through the subclass 191 visa. Eligibility criteria include employer sponsorship, at least three years of full-time experience in your nominated occupation and competent English. Common requirements across these pathways include being under 45 years of age, achieving at least IELTS 6 or equivalent for English proficiency, and having two to three years of work experience depending on the visa subclass. To make navigating this process easier, Visa Tasker offers expert assistance. Our MARA registered agents guide you through each step, from skills assessments to visa applications, ensuring accuracy and compliance. 
with a focus on personalised service. We're committed to helping you achieve a successful migration outcome. Thank you for your attention. I hope this session has provided you with a clearer understanding of how to pursue your career as an engineering technologist in Australia.